Racing drones, they've become a lot more popular in the last few years, so I got one for Christmas. This is the Hobby King A250 frame, it comes with no tools and no electronics, so you'll have to buy your own. I'll put links in the description for where you can get electronics, tools and the frame itself. This is my first quad build, so naturally I'm going to make a few mistakes, but we'll give it a go anyway. So, let's get on with the build. So, these are all the pieces that come in the Hobby King set for this quad. Uh, you've got the arms here, you've got the bottom plates and the top plate. Uh, you've got 35mm standoffs here, which hold these top the bottom pieces and the top pieces apart. Um, they're bolted on with these 8mm screws. Uh, and then the arms are held onto the held between the bottom plates here with these 10mm screws. You've got this um, piece here which your action camera sits on, so GoPro or something like that. That's held off the top piece, this piece, with um, these vibration dampening rubber things. Um, you can. It also comes with these, with these legs here that go on the arms like that. But the ones that I got didn't fit. Um, so if you are going to use them, I'm probably not. Uh, but if you are going to use them, you could probably file them down or something to make them fit. So as I said in the beginning, the uh, the kit doesn't come with any tools. So I had to buy this two mil hex driver for the M3 bolts. Um, I also had to buy these bolts here and these 10mm standoffs to hold the NACE32 and power distribution board apart and onto the, um, the frame itself and the battery strap obviously to hold the battery on. So this is the bottom piece here you can see it's got the built in nuts here to hold the screws for the to hold the arms on so it's got those built in, we don't want this piece at the moment so we're going to set that aside, we want the other piece that looks identical um, and we want the 8mm screws here and then we're just going to put them through the holes here on the outside edges and two more in the middle or four more in the middle and take the 35mm standoffs and just screw them on hand tight so we can come back with a screwdriver later and you want to go along all of them so if you've got it right it will look like this uh, you've got the eight standoffs roughly uh, evenly spaced apart now you want to flip that bit over and you've got these long bolts here which you'll have to buy separately, I'll put links in the description so they go through these four holes in the middle here which hopefully you haven't used uh, if you're getting a bit confused about it, they're the same distance apart as the four holes on the power distribution and NAS32 boards so then you flip that over like that, it's a bit difficult because sometimes the screws fall out then you want to sort of wiggle this down with the screws um, there we go. So now you want these little 10mm standoffs. They're these little things here. You can get them in different colours on Hobby King. Um, so these then go onto the long screws here. And, well, you need to. do take quite a long time. But you just need to screw those down till they they hold the power distribution tight onto the rest of the frame. So this is what it will look like when you've got these spaces on here. Um, now is a good time to go around and tighten all the things up with the with the screwdriver. You can just pinch it like that. You don't need pliers or anything, and just go around. With the uh, power distribution board, uh, it doesn't come with the XT60 soldered onto it, so you need to you need to solder all that on, and you need to tin all these pads as well, all the ones in the corners. These ones here you don't need to use unless you're uh, unless you've got you're building a hex, um, so that's six motors, six ESCs, and everything. So we now need this piece here, the bottom piece. Um, and we don't need these 8mm screws, but we do need the 10mm screws and we need the arms here, so that will just rest on top of there but then you need to sandwich the screws and the arm in there and then it's a bit of a fiddle again but you've just got to try and line the whole line it all up and then you can start off doing it hand tight and then once you've done that arm, you go around and tighten it all up with the screwdriver again. So 
so you need to do these other ones here and then you can go all the way around so the Nase 32 here it will go on the top bit here um, with lock nuts to hold it all down but because I haven't sold the ESC's onto these points here uh, I'm not going to do that bit yet so I'll do that in the next step, the electronics uh, yeah, I've soldered all these pin headers on as well I'll probably go through that The um, this top plate here you have to put these blue grommet things onto this piece here and onto that piece which is the vibration damping mount and then to finish to finish to put the top piece on which I'm not going to do now you'd have to put that bit in the bottom uh, and it can this will make it the front but you can put it in either end because there are holes for either end and then this piece you want the vibration damping mount at the front so you just got to double check that that would then slide down on there slot into those holes and then you'd bolt it through the top with the remaining 8mm screws to hold it all together but as I said I'm not going to do that now because I need to access the electronics so this is all I'm going to do for now the next instalment of this video which will hopefully be electronics will be on my channel sometime soon um, so yeah please like comment and subscribe see you later